Hey guys! And gals! So, here is another overview of some of the new additions to the VCV Rec library. Um, and if you enjoy this series, if you enjoy my work, please consider also um, joining me on Patreon. And already we start with a new module from Hampton Harmonics. Um, so last time we had Progress, which is a chord um, sequencer, a really nice module. And now we have also ARP, which will turn a polyphonic signal um, into an arpeggio. Um, so I have here um, so a sequence going on progress, which is going polyphonically again to ARP, and this is um, sequencing the FM operator. It sounds like this. You can see that with every chord, we get the notes arpeggiated. And we have a few options here. We have, of course, up. It can play down. Inclusive, exclusive, everything outside in, also in the order you use. So you don't have to use a sequencer, by the way, for this. You can also use um, yeah, keys, a keyboard, also random. So it will randomize the notes. And also we can choose um, how many octaves it will play. also latch and hold modes and you can of course modulate the octaves and the gate length also which is also really nice oh yeah okay very nice so this was up Okay, and here we have a new sequencer pack from Entrian. We have the Entrian Drummer, which was introduced in the Drummer um, pack. But here we have two new ones. We have Melody and Timeline. Melody is a melody sequencer, a piano roll style sequencer with phrases, all sorts of crazy um, features that you can use, like randomness and uh, interesting things. But we have also Entrian Timeline. <laughs> which is a DAW inside of VCV rack, or almost a DAW, let's say. So you can choose different sequencers. You can choose a melodic sequencer. You can choose a drum sequencer. You can have automation. You can have all sorts of things. Here I have bass, automation, drums, melody. So if we listen to the melody, for example, of course, it's also polyphonic. If we listen to the melody... I have here, uh, it's sequencing the FM operator. It's also modulating the feedback amount with the automation lane. You can see this here. This is the second song. If it will go to the first one, we will uh, hear this also. This is the automation. Right, so we can have also automation. We have the melody, which is polyphonic. We have also a drum sequencer in, inside this module with all sorts of interesting features. So here I have some drums like a kick drum, snare and hi-hat. Again, all sorts of features like randomness, um, flums, ratcheting, velocity of course. Then we have also again the automation lane. And you have up to 16 different channels you can use for each automation track. Then I have also a bass sequence here. Oh yeah. And again, you can change songs. And you have volt per octave. You have gates, accents, velocity triggers, whatever you need you have here, everything is polyphonic of course, um, yes, it's a sort of a DAW inside the VCV rack, it's amazing, you can build whole songs, whole compositions in this um, sequencer. Very cool, so go check it out. And here we have a new developer, Mantra with a few interesting modules. So first of all, you have a dual amplifier. So if you have a signal you want to amplify, um, you can do this with this module. And um, here we have a mult, 
um, stereo mult actually and we have two switches or two selectors um, with eight out wait eight inputs and one output or with uh, eight outputs and one input and you can select between them and a few interesting blanks and um, so again mantra go check it out and here we have a new module from Vox Glitch. It's a sampler times eight. So you have eight different samples you can trigger. You load them and you have just a trigger input. Um, nothing fancy, but uh, uh, really useful. It's stereo also, of course. So here I have marbles triggering a few samples I've recorded, just a few notes. Again, nothing fancy, but really useful. You can load up to eight different stereo samples and just trigger them as you wish. Okay, and here we have a new version of the Ableton Link module from Stellare with a few new features um, like clock division and multiplication, shuffle and offset. Um, so if you're using Ableton or uh, I'm not so sure, maybe it works also with a different DAW and you need Ableton Link. So you have a new version from Stellare and it's available for free. Okay, and here we have a sort of a new developer. It's a collaboration between Frozen Wasteland and SV Modular. They uh, brought us now the frequency domain modules, um, spectral processing modules, uh, delay, vocoding, and um, really interesting stuff. I still need to dig deeper. Um, but here I have a vocal sample going to three of them, and it sounds like this. Lots of modulation, of course. <laughs> yeah, so a lot to explore and um, go check it out. Okay, and here we have two new modules from the ML collection. And uh, we have a polyphonic arpeggiator and we have a polyphonic splitter. And again, this arpeggiator doesn't have to uh, work only with sequencers. It can work really well also with um, keyboards and uh, MIDI controllers. So here I have the note sequencer from JW sending pitch information and a gate. And also I'm creating a sort of a rhythm with patterns also from JW. This is sequencing the FM operator. And if you notice here, let's, let's just listen to this for a second. Right, so it will take the polyphonic signal from the note sequencer and will arpeggiate it. But here, because it's polyphonic, you can have for each channel, you can have different, for example, um, play patterns. So one of them is going up, one of them is going down, then down up, then random. You can also do this for the octaves and for the order of the play. You have also a hold option if you don't have it on your MIDI keyboard. And again, it's polyphonic. You have also two CV inputs that it can sample, like, for example, velocity. So yeah, really interesting module. And again, the poly splitter, if you want to split a polyphonic signal. Very cool, very nice modules. Let's move on. And here we have another module in the Audible Instruments collection, um, which is called in hardware Mutable Instruments. This one is the Liquid Filter or Ripples. And um, the guy behind All Right Devices um, the, uh, brought us Chronoblob 2, also uh, available as hardware and T-Rex, made this port to VCVREX, so thank you so much. So we have now Ripples in VCVREX, which, which is a really nice filter. So here I have Vesec, Going into it, it sounds like this. Vesic from Vult, of course. Oh yeah. You have band pass, low pass, low pass, uh, four pole, low pass two pole, low pass four pole, and you have also a built-in VCA here that we will look at in a second. Really nice resonance. Of course, also an FM input. Also a frequency input. Oh, yeah. And again, it has also a VCA, a built-in VCA with a, a gain that we can modulate. So here I have the gate sequencer from Starling Via, also available as hardware, um, triggering an envelope. Oh, yeah. So 
it's really handy to have a built-in VCA inside the filter. Oh man, this is nice. Okay, so Ripples, go check it out. Okay, so here we have a new module from Bidu, which is Dictate, a really interesting quantizer. If I zoom in, you can see we can change the root notes and we can change the scales. We have also channels that we can modulate, modulate the root note, the scale, and the channels, of course. Um, and also we have four different outputs, so we can create also chords. I have uh, uh, here energy, it's sequencing polyphonically energy i'm also using the micrograph or uh, from valley which is topograph from valley which is grids for mutable instruments it's also sequencing or triggering polyphonically energy sounds like this and again we can change the scale we can change the root node we have different channels with different settings So we can also transpose everything and create progressions. So yeah, dictate from Bidu, go check it out. Okay, so we have new modules from Bog Audio. Beautiful modules. First of all, we have expanders for the mixers. So we have the mixer with four channels and mixer with eight channels. They are not new, but we have the expanders. So you just place them next to the mixer and then you have EQ, three band EQ for each channel, and you have also, <clears throat> sorry, two send and returns. And so I have here reverb and delay. So you have this for the four channel mixer, and you have this for the eight channel mixer. We have also a new sequencer, which is quite cool. You have the PGMR sequencer, which is a four step sequencer, four times four, with a gate or trigger output for each of the steps but you can also expand it with the expander and create as many steps as you like i have here just one expander so i have eight steps but you can chain them you just place them again it's an expander you just place them next to the sequencer itself and you can chain as many as many as you want and create long sequences so here i have it sequencing um uh, the fm operator and the xco also bog audio and yes, it will sound like this. I have some reverb and delay as sound effects. Now there are uh, more new modules here. We have also a stereo EQ. We have also a signal, a dual signal inverter. And we have also the eight uh, uh, channel version of Polycon. So it will send um, polyphonically um, just an offset so here for example I'm sending it to the mix of the square wave so I can for each I have four channels in this case for each channel I can do this separately so I can control each channels square waves uh, mix which is quite cool. And there is also the poly off 8 and poly off 16. Again, it will send to a polyphonic um, input. You can um, invert a signal and offset it. So here, for example, I have a sample and hold going through the poly offset um, to the depth of the XEO, to the FM depth of the XEO. So I can, for each separate channel from the four channels I have, I can change the settings of the FM amount. I can invert this signal, the sample and hold. I can offset it. So now I have modulation just on channel two. Now just on channel four. Just on channel three. So like this, I can control and have different depth of modulation for each channel because again I'm sequencing it polyphonically so 
So again, really nice modules. I really, really like this sequencer, this new sequencer. Vogue Audio, everything here is available for free. Go check it out. Okay, and here we have a new developer, Nora Codes, with two really quirky <laughs> oscillators. Um, I have here, one of them is a clock that is uh, triggering the SEC3. And another one is uh, our sound source. You can see it's, it looks like this, a unipolar square wave. Um, really quirky. I have here the SEC3 sequencing it uh, somehow. I mean, it's not really... Um, melodic or something like this, but uh, we have a sequence here, it sounds like this. Which is weird, but great for techno, I guess. Oh man, it's going through some delay. <laughs> okay, no codes, go have fun. Okay, and here we have a new sequencer from Squinky Labs, the 4x4 four four sequencer here up that uh, should work really nicely with the SEC++. Um, again, I have to be honest, I still didn't dive deep enough into the SEC++ and the Squinky Labs 4x4 four four is really new, so I didn't get a chance to check it out yet. Um, but it's supposed to be a really nice sequencer for creating scenes and stuff like this. Um, so if you want, go check it out. Again, Squinky Labs available for free. And that was it for today. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you enjoy what I do, if you enjoy my work, consider becoming a Patreon. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell and have a nice day.